14 Reasons Why Mortal Kombat Annihilation and Mortal Kombat 2021 are basically the same movie. See, this film starts with a fan favorite character from the video games, and he's on his knees being murdered by one of the film's main villains. Because even though Mortal Kombat is a fighting tournament designed to save Earthrealm, the bad guys have decided to cheat by killing the heroes outside the tournament. So for the first half of this movie, the bad guy with a deep voice and vaguely explained powers sits on his throne a lot. And he spends most of his time telling his henchmen, led by a female warrior, to go kill the heroes one by one. Meanwhile, our heroes go for a walk through the desert so they can meet a mysterious mentor to teach them how to use their powers. And Raiden is like, even though the bad guys are cheating, I can't help you. Even though towards the end, he helps them anyways by fighting one of the bad guys. Near the end of the movie, our heroes fight the bad guys one on one at the same time and they all got to pick which one they want to fight. And Jax is like, I'll take the big one. While Sonya fights Melina. At one point in the movie, Scorpion comes back from the dead to fight Sub-Zero and we get little explanation how he came back from the dead. About halfway through the movie, the bad guy with four arms gets killed by the main character. Oh yeah, and there's this weird thing going on about magical dragon tattoos for some reason. Wait, which movie am I talking about? 